Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is undersea cables. First of all, let's see why it is in the news. On the 5th of September 2025, a cut in the Red Sea, undersea cables resulted in significant internet disruptions in several Asian countries, including India and Pakistan. Microsoft reported increased latency in the Middle East due to the damage. This incident highlights the crucial role undersea cables play in global internet connectivity. Now let's discuss what are undersea cables. Undersea cables, also known as submarine cables, are long wires that run beneath the ocean to facilitate global communication. These cables carry data in the form of binary code, which represents images, text, or other digital content. Data travels through these cables as pulses of light in fiber optic cables. These cables act as the backbone of the global internet infrastructure, allowing data to travel across continents. It all begins with a data request sent from a device to a server, often thousands of miles away. This request travels through mobile towers via radio waves and is transferred through fiber optic cables under the ocean, ensuring the seamless exchange of information. Now let's talk about why are cables laid underwater? The need for underwater cables arose after wires were initially laid across land to transmit telegraphic messages. As technology advanced, there was a need to connect countries across oceans for communication, especially after the Atlantic Ocean was crossed. In 1856, Cyrus Westfield initiated the Transatlantic Cable Project, connecting Europe and North America. The first successful transatlantic cable, laid in 1858, revolutionized communication by enabling near instantaneous exchanges of messages. Today, undersea cables made of thin fiber optic strands covered in protective layers allow data to travel at the speed of light. These cables have made global connectivity possible, supporting the vast volume of internet traffic from emails to video streaming. Now lastly, moving on to how are undersea cables installed and maintained? Undersea cables are typically installed by large ships, which deploy cables on the ocean floor. In deeper waters, over 2,000 meters, cables are simply laid out, as they are less likely to be disturbed by human activities. In shallower waters, machines called plows are used to bury the cables in the seabed to prevent damage. Despite their protection, undersea cables are vulnerable to various threats, including natural forces like earthquakes, ocean currents, and even fishing nets or ship anchors. Human-induced damage also occurs when vessels drop anchors or trawl over the cables. Occasionally, wildlife such as sharks has been known to damage cables. Repairing these cables is a complex and costly process, often involving the use of divers or remotely operated vehicles to fix them. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements about undersea cables. 1. Undersea cables transmit data in the form of pulses of light through fiber optic cables. 2. All undersea cables are owned and operated by government entities to ensure security and equitable access. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A. One only. B. Two only. C. Both. One and two. D. Neither one nor two. Do send the answer of this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe. 
and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.